Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for tuning in to another episode of GOW, the Generation Wrestling Podcast. As always, as you are truly 29 year old PC Go. And with me, as always, I got my tag team partner, my brother, my family. He has the flies in the room, Mr. One, Two, Three. Pin that ass down, Key Breezy, aka EC's resident Isaac Hayes, King Two Code in the building. Bro, what's good? Man, we got uh, Dynamite's New Year's Bash and. It wasn't a bad show. It was actually a pretty decent show. Good couple of matches. Uh, a couple of things that just kind of filled in time. Uh, right now, we got Samoa Joe, who just retained his TNT uh, TV championship against Warlow. After, of course, after he took the steel pipe to Warlow's knee. But even though with that steel pipe to his knee, Warlow was still able to do suicides and Heracaranas and all types of stuff. Not bad, but Right now, we're going to the beatdown, but uh, yeah, man, we're going to kick off the show, but man, but go ahead, brother, finish off before we, because uh, <laughs> I'm still going to see what the hell uh, Samoa Joe finna do right now with these scissors. No, I mean, I, I mean I'm mean, i just like you, man. I'm, I'm watching the same thing we got. I'm, I'm really surprised that, uh, I'm surprised, oh, no, no. He ain't about to. He ain't about to get that boy. He ain't about to get a sex symbol of AEW a haircut. He he ain't about to turn that boy from 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 long hair Christian to short hair Christian, is he? Oh yes, he did. Oh, they about to cut the yes, he did. Well, he just had bloody. Yeah, he did. Paul Turner's down for the count. Paul the man Turner. bun is gone. Oh no, not the man bun of the man beast. No, no. Oh, the war dog is no man. he lost his tail. The war dog got no tail. Wow, my boy gonna come back looking like Ortiz next week, man. What's going on? Darby Allen. Ooh, Darby Allen versus Samoa Joe. Okay. Hey, 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 what that boy Batista said, give me what I want. Wow. I'm down with it. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Okay. I I dude, I didn't okay. I didn't see Warlow winning. I did not see him getting his ass choked out, though. So I saw him winning. I I, I saw him getting the title back. I didn't oh, you see, see Joe holding on to the title. Was, oh, you, oh, you went into this like thinking War, Warlow was gonna go, gonna go, gonna get. That I, thing, I like. thought Warlow. I thought Warlow was coming out champion. He was getting the title back. He was gonna beat Joe. Mm. Uh, and then you know they would go from there. But right now, if you you telling me we gonna get uh. A Darby Allen versus Samoa Joe for the TNT Championship. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Um, I'm down. I'm game for it because I, I mean, even though we kind of already seen it happen once, but I, I, I'll watch it again. I'll watch it again. Dude, I got a question for you because I know mm-hmm. the the TNT title has seen its fair share of ups and downs. When there's been great title reigns, there's been great title reigns. When there's been True. lackluster, there's been lackluster. True. I, 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 before we talk about the show, because I know we're gonna, you know, talk about it, and, you know, kind of get out of here. Uh, but when it comes to Samoa Joe as the TNT Championship, man, what are your thoughts on the run so far? Because I'm thinking so far, it's it's been solid. It ain't been long, of course, but I think it's been solid. It's been okay. It nothing, nothing, nothing to brag about. It's been good to see him wrestling. It's been good to see him doing stuff. It's been good to see him on TV. It's, you know, not, you know, damn, Joe Hurt, so we're not seeing Joe again. Or Joe Hurt, so we can't see Joe do what, you know, do what Joe does best. Right, uh, right, right. So it's, I, I, I've, appreci- I've appreciated it. Um, and for him, you know, Tony let him get a little run in because, you know, this is, hell, this is about the best and most he's done since outside of TNA. Like, yeah. you think about his WWE run, yeah, his NXT run was cool because, you know, he was NXT champion. Yeah, that was cool. But the right, main right, right. roster, he was a United States champion twice, and one of those times he was just handed the title. Like yeah. he, he didn't even have a legit title run in WWE. So if you tell me Samoa Joe's gonna be the Ring of Honor TV champion, he's gonna go out there and he defended it against people and won. Okay, right. cool. And he's gonna fight, beat Roller Warlow for the title in a triple threat, and he's gonna be both dual champions, and he's gonna still defend both championships. And he's out here still being involved with people and, and fighting with other people. Hell yeah. All right, cool. I'll take it. So i right. I've been good with it. Um do I uh but I don't I don't see it, you know, being 
I don't see it being nothing, you know, too crazy. Yes, sir. I got you. I got you. All right, man. So let's kick this off real quick, man. So we started to show off, man, with Ethan Page versus the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. And I got to say, man, this is the Ethan Page I've been waiting to see. I've been waiting to see this Ethan Page, man, that was focused, that's determined, that shows what he could bring to the ring. Uh, I'm not saying he was like out of my mind, worldly great, but did, did, he is he's, he's worldly better than what I've been seeing from him. Mm. And because you know Brian Danielson ain't coming in to half ass no match whatsoever. Right. He ain't coming in to play games. Uh, either if he gonna have this match, he gonna job you, or he or you gonna have a match. And Ethan Page yeah. held his own, and he had a match with him. Uh, I would say, quite frankly, his best match of the night. Um, mm. I know we got to take a trip to the block and talk to the Hood Chief because I know how he felt about the trios match. But I'm gonna say that this match here was the best match of the night. What are your thoughts, man? Hey, 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 hey Skip. Hey, 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 Skip. Let me tell you something, Skip. Keep talking. Keep talking. Uh, um, yo, okay. Again, when the franchise is wrong, the franchise don't mind saying he was wrong. Ethan Page, my brother, I want to I wanna do the bow of, uh, of respect, and please forgive me. Yo, the man with the tightest tits in the game, Ethan Page. <laughs> versus the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. Woo! That was a good match. I ain't gonna lie. God damn. All this time he's been spending with Dan Lambert and Paige Van Zandt and everybody else and Scorpios. This is what I needed to see. I don't need to see the gimmick, Ethan Page. I don't need to see the shenanigans and all the other blah, 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 Ethan Page. I needed to see this and to see him go up against one of the very best in Brian Danielson. And when I say bro, he went at Daniel Bryan. I mean, excuse me, Brian Danielson? Dude, he went at him. He took it. He gave it, but he took it. And right. dude, this to me, this is a guy who I can see fighting for a championship. This is a guy that I want to see in the main event. This is a guy I want to ha see have top fuse, man. So, hey, dude, I ain't going to talk about that too long. Good match, like you say. Match of the night for sure. And I want to see more of this from Ethan Page, man. Like, let's be consistent with it. Tightest tits in the game. <laughs> the game, the hey, can we say that Stokely Hathaway, man, is it has, has an impressionable uh reasoning for 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 the success in Ethan Page and just you know the the the, the respect of what we're gonna see from him moving forward? Yeah, because I I didn't think that Ethan Page needed a, a mouthpiece. I didn't think he needed a manager. Uh right. But if you're gonna put him with somebody, Stokely didn't necessarily work out with Jay the way I thought he would. Uh, the way you know, but then again, that's just two big personalities trying to you know be the mouthpiece for one. Ethan Page, he talks a lot of trash, but he's not as outgoing as Jay is. You know, Jay is brashing in your face. Ethan Page is he a little cocky, but he ain't that personality. So I feel like a guy like a a Stokely Hathaway that kind of talk that shit and be a little dominating out of his neck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I like this pairing. I like this pairing. It reminds me of a young Teddy Long. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if he comes out in suits and starts skipping, talking about holla, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm done with it, man. Right. Give, know, give, uh, give it, give it 15 years. I promise. No, nah, no, nah, don't, no, nah, don't give it no 15 years. Don't give it no 15 nothing, man. I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to see that at all. <laughs> all right, man. Um, so we had that, of course. You know, uh, we had that match. Then of course you know we had MJF. Of course he was talking, you know he was talking his shit from the from the from the Raptors as he always do. Uh, and then of course man, we got a nice little tag team match. We got Top Flight. We got the brothers back that went up against them them crazy insane boys of the Blackpool yeah. Combat Club of yes. uh, John Moxley and Claudio Casanoli. Hey, I said it right that time. Uh, Claudio and <laughs> and, and, and um, it, it it was a good match. Uh, top flight looked good. They they looked like the team we knew they could be yeah. if given some time. Unfortunately, we know injuries played a big big part, especially for the uh, I can't remember Dante's brother's name. I can't uh, Darius, remember his brother Darius. Because Darius, because uh, yep. Darius, he because he he was out for a while with an injury. He came back, then he got hurt again, and then he got into a car accident. So it was like, damn, dude, 
like shit, bad, man. Luck. Like right, like we really, like really, really felt bad for the dude because we really wanted to see this tag team, and we got to see him. I thought yeah. it was an okay match. Uh, Moxley uh, evidently selling an injury. Uh, of course, they played on the Hangman page is not quite clear to fight, and if he keeps fighting Moxley, he won't get there. You know, they play that whole angle. Uh, thoughts on that, real quick, man, before we, you know, go through the rest of the card. No, like you said, man, hey, the Blackpool Combat Club, you know, they threw them things. But, hey, look, you know, don't get it twisted. Top flight, they took control of a little bit. But, boy, I ain't going to yeah. lie. Claudio, shit. Hey, I think it was Darius, man, that hit him with that, with that uppercut. And Claudio, man, I, I Claudio he got put that he boot. Put he put a down. boot. He put that boot to that boy's face with yeah. that drop kick, though. I ain't going to lie. Bruh, he took that mouthpiece out and said, bow. I'm like, ooh. Oh, maybe you should lead up because of Claudio, man. Because Claudio looked like he was hurt. But, hey, again, it was nice to see him back in action. And it won a quick match. You know, they got some time. So, you know, hey, top flight. I said it from the jump. I, I wanted, you know, they should be tag team champions eventually. But they got to work their way back up, man, because it's too inconsistent with the injuries. Sorry, I had to get the remote. <laughs> uh, no, I agree. Um, it, like I said, good to see Top Flight back. Definitely going to have to get some more work in, uh, get them, get people used to seeing them again and get themselves back up into the tag team rankings. Because right now, man, you know, there's some quite a lot of young tag teams uh, in the tag team division. So definitely want to see Top Flight come up. Uh, then after that, man, of course, man, we had Jericho. You know, they, they replayed the Jericho. Uh, match from last week, and then of course he offered Ricky Starks, you know, a, 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 a ticket into the JSA, and Starks, you know, of course, he turned them down, and he and and then of course, you know, Ricky, you know, Jericho got to be Jericho. He can't just accept things like that. So of course he issues out, you know, he he basically tells Stark what he's gonna do, and then later on, man, we get Starks, and he basically says, "Look, me and you, we can go at it." Because I'm gonna kick your ass. Because I am absolute Ricky Starks, and I am absolute. And then you know, <laughs> so you know, I, 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 right? <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not mad about this, man. Uh, obviously, man, the, the jobber versus the pebble. Uh, what do you think, man? Uh, that is a hell of a marquee, and the fact that you said that with a straight face, it made me laugh even harder because I'm like, oh, <laughs> he's serious as hell. <laughs> the the trouble. Like, I was, uh, uh, was going to see that like on AEW, like they're going to label it as such, Jobber versus the Pebble. Uh, oh, I was shit. like one of the greatest folk stories in the history of wrestling, but yo, look, hey, hey man. boy. Absolute pretty Ricky, man. And, you know, pretty Chris Jericho's no secret. He's on the he's on the tail end of his career right now. And, you know, if you're going to go out, man, he, he definitely going to go out. Put people, people over. over. So, hey, man, if it takes the jobber to put over the pebble, and he might have to skip his ass across the lake of relevancy a couple times. You know, hey, I'm ready. Hey, I'm ready. Hey. I'm ready. Because guess what? We got to build up that resume for when that boy go back and fight for a championship. So if Chris Jericho is going to be on that list, one of the pillars to help build him up on said right. resume, man. I'm ready. Let's go. Nah, for sure, for sure, man. Of course, man, we got uh, Anna J and Kai, Ty going up against Willow and uh, Rio. Uh, we had that tag team match. Of course, they announced some matches for next week. We got Trent Beretta, who's going to get a title shot against his best friend. The freshly squeezed one, Orange Cassidy, which I gotta say, Kip Scabian was trying to, you know, you know, uh, you know, kind of, kind of work, you know, kind of talk his way into something else. But then he thought about it, like, you know what? I'm actually looking forward to that, and well, let, 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 let's see that. And I'm actually yeah. looking forward to it too because I think it's gonna be a really good match. Could I see Trent? Possibly, possibly. I could, uh, even on some frustration, out of frustration of wanting to get be the champion so bad. But I think Freshly Squeeze will still come out on top. Uh, what are your thoughts on that, man? Before I talk about this next thing that we got to get into. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, I, I like what Kip did, but at the same time, you know, you 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 teasing possibly a situation that may or may not happen with the best friends of Orange Cassidy. But then sure. at the same time, you still got Kip Sabian in the background. So you know, uh, last week you had 
uh, who was it that came out, man? Uh, shit, can't think of it, man. I was, I was trying to tie two different storylines together, but that ain't working. Franchise had no brain fart. So well, let's stick with this week. Because <laughs> um, my journalistic integrity has been compromised because I can't remember shit right now. But, right. Uh, dude, you still got Kip saving and waiting. And that's cool because I know no matter what happens, Kip Sabian is still in the picture. I love Orange Cassidy. I love Trent. But what me and you been saying, we want to see Kip. We want to see Kip back. And now could Kip be used as a two-in-one? Could this be a thing where the main folk, the, the, the focus is Kip? Yes. But could we be building to something bigger with Orange Cassidy and the best friends? So, you know, I'm, I'm just interested to see, man, how this whole dynamic plays out. No, I, I I could definitely see that um, with Kip, but uh, and, and and Orange Cassidy and the best friends. But I, I right now they're still a hot act, and they're the only tag team that hasn't held tag team gold. I need them to get some. Nice. I need them to get some gold before they start breaking them up. You already you are I already lost out on uh, on proud and powerful. You know we already lost out on them. I don't want to lose out on these boys. Uh, you know Death Triangle finally got some gold all around. Even Jurassic Express got some gold. FTR got some gold. The Young Bucks got some gold. You know, hell, the Acclaim got some gold. Swerve and Lee got gold. You know, quite a few teams have gotten some gold. So, you know, they're, they're definitely one of the, the original teams that's been there outside of the factory. But I don't really count the factory because they've been switching in people for the last two or three years. Uh, but the best friends are the only ones. That are left to me uh, for the for the old school that for, not old school for the original crew uh, that needs to get the tag team titles. You know that one of the main staple championships. Uh, outside of that, man, this next thing I wanted to talk to you about, man, Hook and W. B. Morrison. They tried to, they're trying to make Hook look legit, man. They're 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 trying to let you know that Hook just ain't. Man, he he ain't just gonna win wham. He just ain't gonna win wham. And that's all. That's that's what he been doing. He just grab a dude arm. And he just win wham. And he just and he just flipping these dudes. I know I kind of went old old school on that one. But uh, they 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 they're trying to build that. Of course, Jungle Boy comes out to help to save. Hey, him and Lee Moriarty, man, they kind of went at it like they was really fighting. I like damn. I, it, it, I, are y'all y'all for real for real? But it is what it is. Uh. But of course they're going to be teasing this Hook versus W. B. Morrison. I just I just want to know before we before I let you you know go you know do what you do. What are your thoughts on how much you want to see this? I I got to know what's inside the franchise's head, man, for Hook versus W. B. Morrison because you know it you know it's coming you know it's coming. Too cold. Come on, man. Give it to the people, man. Because I, I, I want to hear what I want to hear your thoughts. Because I know you know my thoughts are. So I want to hear your thoughts. Who the hell is WB? <laughs> w Morris, WB, uh, uh, it ain't, no it ain't no B in there. <laughs> what is it? W, what is it? I, I don't remember. Man. No, 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 it's just W Morris. <laughs> oh, W Morris. I thought it was WB Morris. I don't know why. No, uh, w Morris, man. But you, no, no, what you no. know who I'm talking hey, about? Hey, hey, hey. You, you know, you know how to, you, you know how to mess with you because uh, a certain Jesky Jesus was making fun of my wrestler choice this, this morning, so I had, I had to pick on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, <laughs> that's all good though. It's all good. Uh, so I would look. You know me, man. I, I change the motherfucker name up in the heartbeat. But no, uh, no. but but him and Hook though. What what are your thoughts on him and Hook? Okay, part of me is like, dude, I don't care to see this. But then another part of me is like, I'm a hypocrite if I don't want to at least see it because I've been complaining about Hook running through everybody. Okay, look, now the one guy from Bear Country, whatever the hell, okay, that was one fight where I'm like, ain't no way in the hell he dominated dude like this. But I'm like, okay, you know what? For I, I give you that one. Bruh, if you mean to tell me, and I mean if you mean to tell me, he do this seven-foot motherfucker, W. Morrissey, that's jacked as shit, that's seven foot tall, and you can't teach that. that. And you build this <laughs> man as an enforcer the way he did. and Because he ain't soft. Bruh, S-A-W-F-T, soft. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, bruh. 
I'm curious because are we gonna actually make it look like Hook is in a true match? Or cause bro, I'm sorry, if Hook dominate Morrissey, it's over with. I'm I, I, I I'm done believing in Morrissey. Like, cause you build him as this big, strong, badass. I'm done believing in Hook if that's what you're telling me. Well, yeah. I, 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 cause I'm not even buying in that he's that good. Like, no, nah, man, I need to. I need him. I need John Moxley to go in there and whoop his ass. <laughs> I need. I need somebody. I need a Brian Danson to go in there and show Hook what it really like. I need somebody that's gonna really show this boy what this game is really about. But you know give me what, a Daniel bro? Garcia or Willa you to somebody. But the one thing that I did like, cause bro, when when he was about to get Morrissey up, and he's about to slam him, and then Morrissey, you know, came back down or whatever like that. Then they had Jungle Boy interfere, hit him with the, uh, hit him with the with the with the plywood. I'm like, okay, yeah. cool, thank you, God damn, give me something believable. Cause I'm like, bro, ain't no way in the hell he was you just about, he was about to yo to... buddy up like that. I'm like, he was about to t bone that boy. He was about to t bone more. Like, he was about to t bone him. He was about to t bone him. Dude, I'm looking at my screen like, bro, no, they not. No, they not. And yeah, his big were. ass really gonna have yeah, to sit there were. and lay down and sell that shit. <laughs> yeah, they were. Yes, they were. They were sitting so there. Someone, yep, they were. Someone, when Jungle Boy came in the ring and cracked him over the back, I'm like, all right, cool. At least the beat down looks somewhat legit. I'm like, man, you want right. to yoke him up like that, man. But obviously, man. we're gonna get a tag match because you know, I. I I, I I know we're going to get a singles, but I think we'll get a tag match first because they're going to want to do the Jungle Boy and 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 uh because you don't want to really leave Hook in there by himself because I'm I'm not really looking for Morrissey to carry the match. Neither am I looking for Hook. So you would kind of need a couple of other people, which you would get a Lee Moriarty and a Jungle Boy. So I I think we'll get the tag match of that first, which is fine, and then we'll get the singles, which then you know which I'm cool with because. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Yeah, I'm. I'm interested. I'm intrigued. I got it. It's like, I like am. you say, it's I like am. you don't yeah. want to, but you like you got to to see how this is going to go. Like, there shouldn't be too much dominance at all, if anything. Not saying he can't get lucky and get some, you know, you know, maybe you know, be fast or quick or you know, do some quick stuff. But he, ain't, I, I don't expect him to be putting Morrissey through the ringer, man, and just making this boy scream and squirm on the ground. And like, yeah. I, I don't expect that. He may yeah. get one or two things off, but not, not, a, not a lot. My thing, if you at least make it look like my man is in, is in the fight. That's all I ask for. Whether he win or whether he lose, depending on how it's done, whatever. Because I can see him winning by submission. Like I'm not saying him winning is just completely out the window. But God right. damn, it, I'm not about to buy you just in there no. Brooklyn brawling this no. dude. You know what I'm saying? No. Nah, bro. You ain't no. about to cheat my dude like not one of the extra cools, man. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. All right, man. Before we get out of here, sure. all right. Uh, we saw what happened at the end of the match, but prior to that, man, we had a trios match. That went on, and my man said he had some things that he needed to say. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, would like for you to gather yourselves together as we are about to hit the block with the hood chief, as he is about to give us a lesson in uh, wrestling etiquette one on one. Okay, I hate to be the picker of shit. I hate to be the one that's got to be the critical one. But I got to keep it real, man, because it's real talk for real fans. The match was entertaining. True. The match did what it's supposed to do. I get it. But this is one of my criticisms, man. Too much one to stepping. Like, God damn, you got six of the best there are. And it's like, y'all couldn't be any more obvious. Like, dude, you, dude, okay, when it was the Lucha Bros and the Young Bucks, when they were on the top of the ramp and they were fighting, and then you had Kenny Omega, wherever the hell he was, and then you had uh, you had uh, Ray Phoenix at the top of the stage, whatever, and he was waiting for 10 years. And mind you, they were fighting like fucking 15, 20 feet away from the goddamn stage, dude. Like, bro, you couldn't have been. They went out of their way. They went, and then what, like, one person got hit in the face and then fell back, and then Ray finished, did his little 360. Bruh, like, it was just, and then, look, nobody, nobody alerted the Young Bucks to, to turn around. You getting your ass whooped and y'all fighting. You just, y'all both just magically just turn around at the same time and walk back up the stage and get jumped on. Like, come on, man. Make it look real. Make it look real. 
like it was just so much one two step, man. Or like it was another incident where uh, I believe it was Kenny Omega. He did a dive off of somewhere. I think off maybe one of the crates. But it was like you got everybody. They not even fighting. It's like it's two and two, and they all tangled up and they holding each other, and they're literally just sitting there looking up, waiting to get jumped on. Like, bro, at least pretend like you're fighting and look at the last second. Don't just sit there. It's like me and you two go waiting with our arms around each other, looking up, waiting on our termination letters. Like, please. <laughs> like, like, no. <laughs> like, at least pretend to show up and do the job. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what are they doing, man? So it was just a little stuff like that. I feel like you had too many high caliber class, world class athletes in this match to look as overly choreographed as it did. Uh, I understand it was, a, I think it would have false count anywhere match. And it started outside the ring. And I get there's other elements of factors, but I'm like, God damn, man. It just, I hate to use the word fake, but God, my suspension of belief was not there today. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. You good, man? I'm good, man. I I, 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 I just want to make sure you got all that out. I didn't want to I, interrupt. I, I didn't want to say nothing. I wanted to make sure my boy was good. You got all that out. Yeah. Like I said, the match was good. And, I, and it hurts my feelings, Skip. It hurt my feelings, man. Yeah, I got to sit here. And, and I, I, I got to sit here. And I, and I, and I got to talk ill. I got to talk ill. Because I don't like that. That's, that's bad juju. That's bad juju Smith-Schuster. You know what I'm saying? Bad juju system. That's a bad juju. Bad juju. Bad juju. You know, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, Skip. But, but you know, I cause it how I see it with my two eyes. <laughs> I can't. I, I I can't disagree with a lot of what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. What I can say is yeah. the one thing that I think they should have did with this. They should have made it a best of five. Because to me, I feel like that's the biggest problem. Yeah, we've been watching these guys. Is yeah. this is the sixth match? Like, I don't want to. After when this is done, I don't want to see none of these guys face each other for about seven months. Like for each match, was seven match best of seven I, for seven months. I don't want to see these guys interact with each other at all. Like, I don't care about tag titles. I don't care about trios titles. I don't care about number one contenderships. I don't care about battle royals. I don't want to see these guys yeah. in the same match for at least a, a look for damn near majority of the uh, bidding war for 2024. Like that, that's pretty, that's pretty much how long I don't really want to see them. Uh, but they should have won the best of five. And the reason I say they should have won the best of five, because I don't think you could have, you could have took a week off in between matches. Yeah, broke it up. A you bit. know, and, and you know, do little promo, do little trash talking or whatever. You know, you you, you it, it, and because the because the best of five, it, it, you you spread it out a little bit. You're not, it's not all because right now it just seems to be all the same. Like we, it just seems like we've been watching the same match. The only difference is now that they've been doing it without rules. You know, because that's how the um, Death Triangle was taking advantage. They were taking advantage of the rules. Yeah. Now that there's no rules, now you're saying the elite are a better team. And I, I fail to believe that. I fail to believe that. Uh, so, uh, and, and again, man, it's like there's only so much you guys can do in these matches. Like, you're getting to a point where now it's like, man, you know, you don't want nobody doing anything that's going to, um, you know, jeopardize the injury. Like that that spot, Kenny, that one-winged angel Kenny Omega gave to – uh, Ray Phoenix, like man, like I, I don't know if he should have took that. I mean, you know, oh, the way he was bouncing. Yeah, on the outside, right when he got the pin for the match, like I don't know, I don't know if that was a, I don't know. I, I, I just, uh, Kenny, I don't know if you should have took that. I don't know if anybody should really did that one, but yeah. you, you've been wrestling each other for so much. I, they, they it should have been a best of five. Uh, the best of seven takes too long. Uh, and it's been we've been watching these guys just wrestle so much and we I don't want to see them wrestle I, I I want this thing to end uh it is what it is uh somebody win somebody move on house of black I'm I'm ready for house of black I'm I'm ready I am 
I am begging TK for the House of Black. Like I need, I, I need somebody. I need somebody to come through and and just change this thing up. And no more best of sevens for at least two years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're that, Tony. I, and I'm gonna be honest. And I'm gonna be honest. To be fair, I wasn't that big fan of when it was Chris Benoit and uh and, and Booker T. Like I liked it. It was okay. But after a while, even when it was Sheamus and 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 Cesaro, I. It, just after a while, I was like, ah, man, okay, damn, yeah, all right. Well, who who's up? Yeah. Okay, they want this person to win. All right, you know, and it's kind of you you just get you you get this interest into it. So I don't want I don't want that, but it is what it is. So just to be fair, um, not a big fan of the best of sevens, mm-hmm. best of five, sure, because it's shorter. You can you can do a little bit different with it. You can do some promos. You can do some talking. Guys don't have to wrestle back to back. You got time to be creative and healed and whatever. You can just you can you get you got a little bit more flexibility. I feel like. No, no, I mean I agree hundred percent. All right, man. With that being said, bro, that's thirty minutes, brother. Uh, that's the show. Uh, like I said, they had a whole bunch of matches announced for uh, Friday and next week. Uh, the first dynamite in the new year. Um, bro, man. We coming up on our last few shows of 2022, man. Yeah, two more. I don't know what we're gonna do, man. We gotta figure something out, man. We gotta do, we gotta do something, but I don't know. We 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 gonna we gonna talk about it later. Well, in the words of the great rapper William Smith, let's get jiggy with it. And with that being said, the ladies, slapper, <laughs> the slapper. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for tuning in to another episode of GOW. It took you a minute to catch that one, huh? Between the high year old piece of gold, he's too cold. We'll see y'all when we see you. Peace.